I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the official channel of 87 Lee 87 and Game Lounge. Please listen carefully to my following statement. 87 Lee 87 and Game Lounge are not responsible for your PC and or game files. Please mod responsibly. If you are facing issues, then please head to the official Game Lounge Discord and seek help from our dedicated support team who are available Monday to Friday. And finally, if you are a member of the channel, please like, share this video, or if you are a new member, please consider subscribing to the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. So, now that my part is done, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi guys, um, welcome to a quick tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys how to um, revert your game. So, let's get right to it. Um, it is pretty straightforward um, most of you who follow us uh, will know how to do this so it is something I've picked up obviously since being involved with LSPDFR now I will admit I've not updated my game for quite a while um, but obviously I will do once the update has finished so as you all know uh, Rockstar have announced that a new GTA 5 update is among us it's coming up next week on the 8th of March um, looks pretty cool to be honest um, so we'll, we'll look forward to that when it's released so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need um, four files from our current game directory so you should all by now know how to get to your directory however for those who don't I will show you quickly so you're going to want to open your file um, explorer uh, mine is in my D drive um, so D drive, I uh, believe it's in Steam library, Steam app, common, and you'll see all my GTA files are there. I do have quite a lot to be, to be honest with you. Um, you can see the clean copy there, which is named Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Uh, this one's my LSPDFR. Uh, this one's for 5M, and these are my backups for the current LSPDFR folder. So we want to merely just double click on the um, current GTA 5. If you scroll down and look for a folder named, or a file even named uh, GTA 5, if you hover over it, you can see the current game version on this one is 3028. I'm not sure if that's the latest. Um, in fact, I could have a look at the latest. Uh, that'll be on my clean copy. Let's have a look. So yeah, I think the latest should be 3095. So anyhow, uh, we'll go from this one. So you're going to need four files from um, from this folder. Now you're going to need the first one we looked at, which is GTA 5. Uh, dot, uh, sorry, GTA 5. This one here. If you hold your left control, you'll be able to select them all. We're going to need uh, the GTA 5 language select, the GTA 5 launcher, and right down the bottom there should be one called Play. There you go, Play GTA 5. So, once you've got all those um, selected, if you right click your desktop uh, and click on new and just name it GTA uh, and then the version number, I, I would. So obviously mine 3028, yours may be different. Obviously just name it as to which version that you are on. Um, so that's done. So if we just open that, I'll move that up there. There we go. So the files that we've selected here, we can just right click, uh, press copy, right click in the new folder and then paste. And you'll be able to see that all of those four files are in there. Now you can, if you want to, I mean, I, I don't, I choose not to because I would rather wait um, for everything to update before I um, update my LSPDFR. I like to do a clean version. but. If you, if you want to, you can copy over the Rage plugin hook and the script uh, script hook v uh, dll. You can copy those over, which will which will save you time. Um, so feel free to do that. Um, so that's basically it. So obviously, when your game updates, you've got this folder somewhere. You might want to keep it on your desktop. You might not want to. It's entirely up to you as long as you can find it. But when you when your game updates, you merely just open this folder highlight the four and drag and drop them into your directory 
and then that will replace those files and it will revert the game back to what it was before it updated. Um, pretty sure that every single YouTube or, or content creator uh, among the lines of Jeffrey Gamer, etc. We always do say that, you know, always up, not update, sorry, always back up your game files and it's so easy to do. Yeah, I know it can take um, quite a while because obviously there is a lot of files, especially um, when it comes to um, LSBDFR, fully aware of that. But it, it's so easy to do. Obviously you can do it via Rage, but I prefer to do it here in my directory. You can just literally right click a folder, press copy, click in the black area and then paste and that will paste I'm not going to click it now because I've got enough folders I think um, but when you do press paste it will create another folder with a number at the end um, and then obviously that would be a backup copy just in case you mess up the one that you've got now um, and you can always revert back to that folder it's happened to all of us we've installed something that we really like from lsbdfr.com it's gone in the game and it doesn't work or it makes your game crash etc etc you then always have that um, backup option of reverting back to the um, folder you had before you installed that particular mod or plugin or whatever it is that you've installed. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it. I will I will say that the LSPDFR support team in my server will be closed during the update, um, but obviously the community support section will be available, and I will drop the four updated files um, I'll probably do it from my clean copy um, and they can be put in the I'll put it in one of the channels um, if I remember to do so and then you can all use it from there but it is pretty straightforward it's important that you do this um, it will save you a lot of time it'll it'll avoid asking a lot of questions in in, in discord when you know I've given you the answers to those questions already by this tutorial um but yeah that's pretty much it guys um the update i believe is about to come on the 8th of march so this particular instruction in regards to the revert is for steam users only um there are other streamers out there that do uh, epic games and rockstar and, and all that stuff so uh, but this one is merely just for the steam users um it's pretty straightforward but i believe they are all very, very similar in regards to uh, this sort of thing. It's always in the game directory for, for the majority of them anyway, so you should be good. Um, but that's all for me, guys. Yep. Peace out. Take care.